those who voted for someone else in either party, I'll work hard to earn your support. Donald Trump tried to change the subject and his delivery using a teleprompter in his victory lap speech at the official end of the Republican primary season. If I'm forced to fight for something I really care about, I will never, ever back down, and our country will never, ever back down. The speech, with only a couple of Trump ad-libs, had some Republicans cheering. The chairman of the RNC tweeting exactly the right approach and perfectly delivered. If he can stay on this path and stay this disciplined, he's going to be very formidable. Trump did respond to the growing outcry over his attacks on federal judge Gonzalo Curiel's Mexican-American heritage. I will tell you, it's a little disappointing, some of the Republicans. He told his Republican critics to move on. There's a lot of anger, I guess, yeah. anger. They just can't come back. They can't get over it. So they have to get over it, ideally. As to whether or not they endorse me, it's okay if they don't. But they have to get over it. They shouldn't be so angry for so long. Too late, says Illinois Republican Senator Mark Kirk, who's in a tough re-election battle and rescinded his endorsement of Trump. I cannot support him because of what he said about the uh, judge that was too racist and to me. That coming just hours after stinging comments from the nation's two top Republicans. Claiming a person can't do their job because of their race is sort of like the textbook definition of a racist comment. I think that should be absolutely disavowed. It's time to quit attacking various people that you competed with or various minority groups in the country. Trump attempted to put the controversy to rest with a statement that said his comments about Judge Curiel were misconstrued. He did have a few supporters coming to his defense. I've known him for 14 years and Donald Trump is not a racist. But Trump is hearing warnings from top Republicans who are demanding their presumptive nominees start acting presidential before the GOP mutiny gets any worse. He's got to de demonstrate a different level of professionalism. The real estate tycoon insists he got the message and is ready to turn his attention to Hillary Clinton. The Clintons have turned the politics of personal enrichment into an art form for themselves.